Invasive species are a major issue in the field of conservation. They overcrowd and strangle native plants until they have taken over an entire area. For our natural resources conservation class at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, we worked with the Silvio Oconte National Fish and Wildlife Refuge in order to remove invasive species from different conservation areas. This organization is involved with conserving land. They have over 36,000 acres of conserved land in New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. We chose to volunteer for this group because of their work with removing invasive species. When we began our volunteering, we worked to remove multiflora rose. This plant was brought over from Eastern Asia for its ornamental flowers. It has leaf clusters, typically in groups of seven with ridged edges. So these are the leaflets of it. So it's got compound leaves, which has like the two across from each other. The stem is usually green with fuzzy looking hairs and contains many hook shaped thorns. This plant grows in thick patches that invade areas of land and take up space so native species can't grow. The next area along the trail had a lot of buckthorn plants. Buckthorn is a deciduous plant with oval leaves and small dark fruit. It can range from shrub to tree size. We helped remove thick multiflora rows surrounding the buckthorn in order to make it easier for the other volunteers to remove the species effectively. Bittersweet is an invasive species that is originally from Eastern Asia. Like the multiflora rose, it was brought over for ornamental reasons. It is a thick vine that grows around trees and other plants, causing them to be smothered and uprooted. The second area we cleared was the Fanny Stebbins Wildlife Refuge in Longmeadow, Massachusetts. Here we also cleared multiflora rose so that workers could come in and reach the bittersweet vines to cut them down. Thanks to Cynthia Boatner, the refuge manager, we learned about why the issue of invasive species is important. If we let invasive species grow, it would eventually become a monoculture which is bad for the ecosystem. It would take up space for other species of trees to grow, and the area would eventually become all multiflora rows. Also, in this specific case, we needed to clear out the multiflora rows in order to remove another invasive species called bittersweet. It is encouraged that people learn about invasive species in their area so that we can work to reduce the harm they cause to ecosystems. Anyone can get involved by removing and reporting invasive species. Additionally, we can collectively advocate for increased legislation so that it is harder to bring in potentially harmful species in the future.